Chapter 545, An Overpowered Keke Genkai Seeing Raiga's state of mind, Fujin understood that he wouldn't be able to get clear answers for him. Even if he did, he couldn't be sure whether the answers were truthful, lies, or Raiga's delusions. The reason why he asked those questions was to make Raiga subconsciously think about them, making Fujin's job of reading his memories easier. While Fujin was dealing with Raiga, Fujin's clone set the bag on the ground. His eyes glowed as he observed, The bag is full of red dust, making it difficult for me to sense. Oh well, let me see what ability this kid has and how he made someone as heartless as Raiga be so concerned about him. The clone pointed a finger at Ranmaru. A small lightning bolt shot from the tip of his finger and pierced into the bag, zapping Ranmaru. He yelped and immediately lost consciousness. The red dust disappeared as soon as he lost consciousness. Fujin's clone opened the bag and placed the young boy on the ground. He placed his palm on Ranmaru's forehead and inserted Yin Chakra into his brain to read his mind as well. While Fujin was reading Raiga's memories, his shadow clone flickered away and reached the graveyard where someone had been buried alive not too long ago. Since not much time had passed, that man was still alive. Fujin's clone created a small tiny hole from the ground to the coffin. He created a hole in the coffin to ensure that air would keep flowing into the coffin. He then stayed in the area to ensure that no one came to disturb Fujin or his clone. Since Raiga had been thinking about Ranmaru during the time of his death, Fujin managed to read all of Raiga's memories related to Ranmaru and some other matters in around 10 minutes. The more he read, the more confused he became. At the same time, a sense of alertness appeared in his eyes. Fujin analyzed, This is weird. Too weird. Someone as heartless as Raiga felt pity for the kid while he was slaughtering an entire village. Even though Ranmaru spoke some words to display sympathy, how can one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist be manipulated this easily? Even Naruto's talk no jutsu might not have such an effect. What's even weirder is that Raiga's obsession with Ranmaru just kept increasing over time. And it isn't like Zabuza, whose affection for Haku grew naturally over time. It's some weird sort of obsession that made Raiga care far more for the kid than even himself. He truly believed that he would be incomplete without Ranmaru. A frown appeared on Fujin's face as he muttered, It's almost like he was under some genjutsu, or perhaps on some drugs. Was it this kid, or was it someone else? Obito's image appeared in Fujin's mind, but he couldn't think of any reason for Obito to do something like that. Fujin sealed Raiga's body while thinking, I'll read the rest of Raiga's memories later. I will be able to learn a lot of Kiri's secrets from him. It might be helpful at some point in the future. Those two missing Chunin squads from Konoha were also buried by him. I will need to capture some of his subordinates who were present then, so that I'll have an excuse to give to Hiruzen on how I found them. I'll keep Raiga's dead body with me instead of cremating and burying the remains like I usually do. Since no one knows that it was me who killed Raiga, it will be safe to use him for Edo Tensei after I learn that jutsu. Though he won't have the swords, he is still stronger than an average elite junin. Fujin flickered next to the clone who was standing in the graveyard and said, Watch over the other clone from a distance. Check if there are any issues. Inform me once he is done. The clone nodded and flickered away. Unlike Fujin, who only read a part of Raiga's memories, his clone was reading all the memories of Ranmaru. So he needed far longer. Fujin stayed in the graveyard while planning what to do next. While Fujin was waiting for his clone to be done, the villagers who were working in the mine and a few of Raiga's subordinates who were overlooking the mine looked towards the grave, yard from a long distance away with some fear. Not too long ago, lightning had been raining down non-stop around the graveyard. Loud explosions were also heard continuously. They understood that an intense fight was taking place there. However, even after the fight stopped, no one appeared. After waiting for 15 minutes, a couple of Kurosuki family members went to check the situation. However, they didn't return to inform the rest of the situation. No one dared to walk towards the graveyard again. Around an hour later, Fujin's clone was finally done. He dispelled himself, and Fujin received the memories. His mind immediately got to work. The first question that arose in his mind was, 
Which Keke Genkai is this? Fujin was both surprised and impressed by Ranmaru's Keke Genkai. He thought, it is remarkable. If Danzo or Hiruzen knew about this boy, both would have gone to any extent to get him under their command, make him loyal to them, and perhaps start a new clan in Konoha. The basic ability of his dojutsu is to see past obstacles and see for long distances, just like the Byakugan. In some aspects, it is actually superior to the Byakugan. The perception and the analytical powers this dojutsu grants are excellent at comprehending hidden detail. It was this aspect that caught Raiga off guard, as Ranmaru could analyze him perfectly and was an important reason for Raiga to take Ranmaru with him instead of killing him. Just this ability would have been very good, but his Keke Genkai has more features. He can create and control small amounts of red dust. This red dust can be used for masking his and even Raiga's chakra signatures. That was what allowed them to hide from my chakra field. In addition, the red dust can also be used to fabricate perfect chakra signatures to confuse sensors and Byakugan users. In addition, his eyes can also accurately tell whether someone is alive or dead by checking what he thinks is life force. What's even more absurd is that he can transfer his own life force to others and revive them from a near-death situation. That's the same as the freaking Kinjutsu Chiyo developed after decades of research. Seriously, what the fuck is up with this absurd Keke Genkai? I had initially thought that it might be Ketsuryugan of the Chinoike clan that the Uchiha clan exiled, but it is quite different and probably much more useful. Fujin could easily see the advantage of being able to transfer life force to heal anyone. If Ranmaru was trained to become an elite Junin, then he could assist a rank S ninja and essentially give them a second chance in battle. In a major war, this ability was too precious and incredibly dangerous for any enemy force. And that was just with one Ranmaru. What if there were a dozen like him? And that was just the basic application. Since it could transfer life force, the first question that popped into Fujin's brain was whether this ability could be used to increase lifespan. Fujin thought for a while before concluding, probably not. However, even if there is a small chance, there is no reason to not test it. If I need life force in the future for some reason, then it'll be good to have a way to get it. Even without it, just having someone who can save me from the brink of death is a good thing. Once my Flying Thunder God range can cover thousands of kilometers, I could just teleport next to him and get him to heal me in a few seconds. Guess I will recruit him after all. That said, I still need to be careful. There are a few things that still don't make sense. For starters, Raiga's obsession with Ranmaru. From Ranmaru's memories, he didn't do anything to make Raiga more obsessed with him. Instead, Raiga's obsession just increased slowly over time. It became so big that it was the main reason for him to leave Kirigakure and become a rogue ninja. He came all the way here to create a new faction where the two of them would be in charge of everything. So either Raiga developed some mental problems or Ranmaru used some ability subconsciously to influence Raiga and make Hess him more obsessed. Considering Ranmaru's past, I'd say that it is the latter. An, if you can, then please support me on Patreon. Link you dot dot patreon dot kosh devil hex no space can read up to 50 chapters ahead on Patreon. Thank you, Axel, for supporting me on Patreon.